Thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've always How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh dear. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps. But at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on top of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What the Waynes built would not have been possible without the Cobblepots, Oswald. I suppose you deserve it as much as I do. Bloody right, I do. Glad you're coming around to my way of thinking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. Pretty please. Turns out your dear mum found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine, Hill wasn't too keen on that idea. So he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way and, well, you saw the rest, mate. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out. At a meeting, I was not invited to attend. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I'm ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot, an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. The company is in great hands. Oswald Cobblepot will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And with that, Oswald Cobblepot. He started to be a good dog in the end, didn't you? Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Bruce. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. 
not an easy thing. Dropped your pen. That's not <laughs> the very self being taken over. I suppose. You feel that? I'm sure some of you remember. That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't feel it. How could you? Retribution, Bruce. I think it's time we knew my real name. I am Wendy Barker. And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Way. <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe. That they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce.
please, Selena. I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's done. <sighs> You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Doctor. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. This can't be happening. This can't be real. I've been asked for rope before, not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What, rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot, you beat him to a bloody pulp. You nearly killed him, landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Welcoming committee has really gone. 
gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude! Uh, Turtleish! Not nice! How do you like it? You are pathetic! Who? Buddy? Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. He's lying. He was the one who kicked their ass. I understand wanting to protect someone, but fighting isn't the way to do it. We'll have to talk about this later. Rude. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. First time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Layla? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patient. <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Welcome! 
Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Dead up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie, cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Hey there, buddy boy. You miss me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Hello? Hello? Go away! Arnold's busy! I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you! What can you tell me about, uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Now what? Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. W not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Now what? 
Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! <sighs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Lewis! Hmm? What? No, that wasn't me. I I I'm sane, Lewis. And... Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. That. Oh, no, 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 that's not polite at all. At all. He cheats. Every time. He cheats. See what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> This was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I free from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What do you want? Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. We can never do that. Not to all of them, anyway. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not! <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Uh, <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured. We will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption.
Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. <clears throat> Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls. Now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. Wayne's always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skip feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! 
run! <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? <laughs> was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your... other job could become. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out, eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. And your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. 
I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. 